Thanks for taking off another weekend with us here as we kick off 2018. And of course, why? Because, you know, I missed you guys the last four weeks and, you know, due to injury and a crap leg, I didn't get a chance to uh, get the videos on time and then those due to injury. So I'm very happy to be back. But the last three weeks has been our part three of our December Christmas celebrations, but due to the injury and everything else, we'll promise you we want to show you the finale of our Christmas celebrations that's in Philadelphia, and we'll show you the year-end episode oh, that will feature Las Vegas winning streak. We're going to show you on the TV side. I hope you saw it on our social medias, but we're going to show it to you for some on air coming up the next couple weeks. That's next week and the week after, so we hope you join us there. But this week, we kick off our first show, 2018, with a very serious issue. And that issue is about violence. Now, you've been witnessing a lot of things happening in the news ever since Donald Trump took over office and administration. There's number and number of protests that have been hitting on the street from the women's movement to violence to every bit of protest you can see anywhere in Washington, D.C., in South Carolina, where one woman got killed with a car backed up and crushed her to death. Uh, number one, it was gun violence. It's been happening when a number of killings been happening, including 58 people over in Las Vegas during a country concert benefit outside Las Vegas. It's like more than 20,000 people standing, but 58 have been killed. And this is a big shocker to help to all. But of course, it's been happening, and that steams me up every time this is going to happen. So today, with the help of our friends at Orca, which is also known as Onion River Cable Access, or the Onion River Community Access to be exact, in Montclair, Vermont, our consulting producers and hosts of the show, Able and On Air, Lawrence and Arlene Seiler, and we talked about a number of these big issues. And I'm going to show it to you in its entirety, just for you, in two parts. But you'll see the entire interview coming up on our upcoming episode. So you have to watch that as well during Road Trip Extra. But today, we're going to show it to you as it happens. And we'll talk about so many issues about it. That's coming up in just a few minutes. So we'll take a break first, then come back, and we'll show it to you in Part one of our interview and then part two will follow this. But for right now, it's been a terrific NFL season. We're now into the division playoffs. And we're going to show to you our picks and our congratulating to our two great big winners this season who won their regular season battle. So with that in mind, here is our divisional playoff edition of our NFL picks. Now it's time for this week's NFL picks. Here are this week's games, along with my selection of the that game. NFL fans, if you have a chance to join in the fun, it's this year's Fan NFL Picks Challenge. Just go to Facebook.com to this Fan NFL Picks Challenge. Click join in order to join the fun. That's Facebook.com and search for Fan NFL Picks Challenge. Now, playing football 60 minutes a day to fight OBC. For more information, 
Go to the following website on your screen right now. And fans, don't go anywhere. We have a lot more road trips coming up on the other side of this break. Come on, guys, settle up, settle up. Let's play a game. We're gonna start by hopping over the fence while doing hopscotch. He's gonna get the ball. He's trying to get to that cone. Oh, he can't cover it. Oh. You have to add obstacles. Let's bring back to you five jumping jacks. Three, three, four, five. Five yards behind you. We're gonna touch the tractor. And the person that swings on the branch first wins. But if you stop, get out. You guys ready? 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 Let's oh. go! If you can imagine it, you can play it. Get out and play for 60 minutes every day. You guys wanna play? I'm Lauren Seiler. I'm Arlene Seiler. And on today's show, we focus on the aftermath of the Vegas uh, music concert fiasco. Um, welcome, everybody, to, uh, to Able to On Air. And um, I would like to introduce Ron Rondon, the executive producer and creator and producer of um, the oh, road, road trip. of Road Trip with Ron Rondon on Free Speech Television. On Listen to me, Zach, it's Brooklyn Free Speech One. Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Free, Brooklyn, Brooklyn Free Speech One. Thank you. Well, you have to get to another channel because that's the, the number of things uh, that I hosted on. Thank you for joining us on Able. Thank you. Recast, but they changed it about two, three years ago becomes Brooklyn Free Speech One. So that's what we are Thank you for right joining now. us. Thank you for joining us on Able Then On Air here in Vermont on Orca Media. Um, knowing the fact that this, this gentleman uh, who did this horrible act of uh, shooting thousands of people, uh, from what I understand, 511, uh, 511 people are now injured and 15, yeah. 59 people are deceased due it to this. Too much of a bad act, let me tell you something. Because when I first heard in the news, like like somewhere around 4.40 in the morning, our time here, we found out, and then when I say that's a special report here for breaking news, it says, no way, not this has had to happen again. It's like the sequels to some other shootings. To President, happen. yeah, President Kennedy got shot that way. Um, it, it, what I mean by that way is that uh, journalistically, if you take a look at President Kennedy's, um, the way he got assassinated, uh, the person, I leave the person, yeah, the person shot him from a rooftop, uh, from a building, and then he was traveling in his motorcade, and then yeah. also. Then also a with second fort, thirty two fourth up. Mm -hmm. That is yeah. too extreme. And I said I never seen anything like thirty two three and people says it's just a regular gun. No, it was an automatic rifle. Yeah. It's like shooting like rain of fire like five hundred yeah. times. Mm -hmm. found, and that really yeah, made me sick. And I never and, uh, seen Yeah, they they found guns in his is in his home. Being being you, being the fact that you've been a, a a person in the media for many years now, um, it was only my fourth year, so my second, my third year now on the, yeah, the media. Exactly. So knowing and that you're also part of the, I mean, we're because you and I are part of the uh, U.S. press corps and um, mm -hmm. part of many other organizations. What is going through your mind? Um, because you know people are disabled because of this. Um, they're in the hospital. They they've lost blood and uh, a lot. I might you know say. what is your take on this whole entire thing? Well, first of all, you know, so there's a number of people who are handicapped or disabled who's part of this, and then they got shot. And I have no idea. It depends on the people are normal. Some are people are disabled or able body to be exact than anything else on any given time. But when you've seen this whole horrific thing happen, I never got a dry eye myself. And this is like happening, just like if you go back two years later in Orlando, Florida, mm -hmm. at the Pulse nightclub, and they shot about 49 people dead. And also, yeah. but also back in the 80s, I don't know if you remember in the Bronx, 
Yeah. Uh, they had the Happy Land Social Club uh, situation. Exactly. Yeah. This is like the gun control laws. It's not. It's stupid. And everything's like like yeah. the NRA. Every like they always come up here. The Republicans always support them. The Democrats. You know how Democrat people are. The Democrats want to put the opposal and put the stop laws to every single gun control laws there is. Well, well, here's okay. Here's the thing. Well, here's here's the thing. Okay, uh, you know we we're, we're protected by the Shield Law here in Vermont, um, which you can do research on that, and we're also protected by the First Amendment right. But yeah. here's the thing: the Second Amendment says the right to bear arms. Do you right. think now Obama during Obama's administration? They trying to pass, or they tried to pass, where if you're mentally challenged, meaning schizophrenia or any other mental challenge, right? Yeah, and we you, know that. And part. your Social Security that you mm -hmm. receive, mm -hmm. meaning SSI, right? right? Not SSDI. We're talking about SSI. Your SSI, so Social Security income that you receive due to the fact that you uh you get um doc a doctor's help uh, or 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 counseling due due to the fact of your mental challenge right Correct. if they say that you have a mental challenge according to the obama administration when it was passed you're not allowed to get a gun you're not allowed to have a firearm in your presence due That's to, right. due you to your do mental it. challenge so what the heck happened here by these idiots who have done that, oh my God! If that it continues to be like, metrics, like for example, people it's like one guy carrying a gun, like mm -hmm. he's going crazy. Like for example, Baltimore is one place. Another what, what happened with Baltimore? Go ahead. And then, and then I'm going to add one other thing. Uh, weapons charges is also the bad part. If you remember that in yeah. one of the stories you had before, like for from gun laws. To like when they shot, yeah, exactly. Look at, what, look, at, look, at, look at that shooting that had the Sandy Hook. That was disgusting. That's right. When you go Columbine, back, yeah, Columbine, Columbine and all these when other things. It was horrible. Young kids. These are young kids. These are yeah. like babies, and they're family members. Every family member is upset. It's time to put a stop to this gun law. Because That's right. I know this from the very beginning. When this had to happen, they had to look for it. Security metrics. And now, New York, it has big security. Okay, going, yeah. going back, going back to, um, going back to movies, uh, how mo movies really portray uh, people with guns, okay? Yeah. John Singleton, um, uh, uh, back, um, I forgot what year it was, but they, they did a movie called Higher Learning. Okay. It had Omar Epps, Tyra Banks, and some other stars. Okay, yes. and um, it, it was in the eighties, eighties, early nineties. Now, when they did this movie, Higher Learning, it was a, it was the fictitious, fictional Columbus University. Okay, and yes. uh, it turns out at the end, um, um. You know, at the end, it had to do with a racial thing on campus. Okay? And, I see that happen. Right? Yeah, yeah exactly. And, uh, you know, um, some years ago, back in the 80s, um, going back to racial tensions, okay? Um, recently, in today's news, they, you know, at University of Vermont, uh, someone got in trouble for racial... Uh, for for racial problems on campus, okay. Now, going back in the eighties, uh, um, you know, with Geraldo Rivera when he first had his talk show, um, when he got his nose punched in, you know, yeah, I don't I know if you know that whole thing uh, where he got his nose punched in from the chair for an incident. If you remember back in like in nineteen eighty seven. Yeah. Back in the uh, second. Yeah, season. and he was talking. Well, I hate using the word skinhead, but mm -hmm. he was talking to um, 
pe people that believe in the Nazi regime. He was talking to uh, pastors. He was talking to other guests on the show, and he got his nose punched in during that, okay, um, which shouldn't have happened. But now that we're in 2017, you know, personally, and this is free speech television. Right. Personally, I think that they should abolish the Second Amendment, not give anyone guns unless you're a, a firearm, unless you are a police officer or someone that needs it, you know? You know, no carrying in your house, no, I mean... Uh, hunting is one thing. If you're going to feed your family based on shooting what you kill, then so be that. Yeah. But why are you going to carry a gun? What, to shoot thousands of people in broad daylight? Like, in that, a, like every it, single word. It you makes, me, I, I don't, I, it it makes no. And mostly sometimes in shopping malls and airport. I've seen airports happen before. Yeah. One time, that one knucklehead had to uh, carry a gun and yeah. start shooting. I don't mean to use this, but journalistically, the person in in uh, in um, in, uh, in Vegas went ape shit, and I'm only gonna say that once. Ape shit. Exactly. He went ape shit. Um, yeah. He went crazy. He went crazy, and mm -hmm. they. According to news reports, they don't. He didn't have any criminal record. His father was on the uh, most wanted list. Okay. Wow, that was I never heard So, that. so they don't know exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. Personally, I think they should start abolishing the for the Second Amendment right and only give police and people that have badges that need guns to for their job to have them mm -hmm. other than that you should play hockey, you play more than just a game. Hockey gets your legs moving and your heart pumping. It builds lean muscle and it keeps you fit. Plus, it's fun to play no matter who you are or where you are. So let's move. Let's skate, shoot, and score. Let's build confidence. Let's eat better so we have the energy we need to play. Let's create friendships and become part of the team. Just go to letsmove.gov to learn more. security measures, like if, for example, if you look back uh, earlier this week, when President Trump just says, are you kidding me? Now we need some heavy security, and more security is possible to get. Like, for example, a five, a 18 year old kid who carries a gun into the schools too, and if you remember that before, Arling, mm -hmm. he killed one person, yeah, injured another them. on the shooting and yeah, got arrested. Yeah, yeah, he stabbed them. He stabbed yes. them. Yes. No, but <laughs> yeah, like they're the, carrying knives and yeah. carrying guns. Because no, I remember... No, they got to put metal detectors in the public schools. Exactly. But what about on every single thing else? Like in hotels, take yeah, that for yeah. example. Like the like luxury hotel. Yeah. Or even in baseball stadiums. And baseball stadiums does have the security measures and security monitors, everything. They always check you it can't early. Even Airports, that's... stations, a number of other things. It's time to step up the, to the plate and continue to get this government out of the way and bring security in every single milk and cranny of this state. Because we are an American people. We are the home of Britain. But are we We're listening? But, but, but are we... Are into we, all of this crazy stuff? Yeah. Not right what they did. Mm -hmm. And I could add this to it. If the president can stand one thing, and all Republicans and Democrats, independents, doesn't matter. You've got to 
step up and end this drug law situation once and for all. Because yeah. there's a reason about this. It is what they had to do. They have to discuss. They don't go to discuss anything about health care and everything else. Gun laws is the number one priority of this here state. And to me, this is going to be the top priority. Okay, so, so you think, before we get to some stuff with your show, do, do you think that they should get rid of the Second Amendment right? Let's get rid of it. Let's end this crazy place and start end this gun control because this is the shooting, the killing of these people. It's really too much of everything. That's why I don't like what that's going to happen. I don't like what they have doing to everything. This is what we're talking about all day long. Do you think? So do you think? Um, you, all right. So all right. Now, do you also think? That there should be more security? Beef up security. New York is already up the ante right now. They mm-hmm. already put in the cards in, thanks to, to Mayor de Blasio, to every state and the, and the new uh, other deputy commissioner. They have to put every bit of strong arm security from every move, from train stations to buses, yeah. bus depots, Grand Central, Times Square. It doesn't matter. It's beef up security. And yeah. you've seen how it happens here in the New York area from a recent killing of a beautiful 18-year-old girl who's got a crazy driver on chaos back then. And then this whole thing is like, forget it, starting to be chaos. Mm-hmm. It's like almost like a suicide mission. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Or either like terrorism or everything else. Just like the gun control. Yeah. This is what... This American people is up to it. You know the, the election is coming up soon. But just suggest to every single congressman or state senator yeah. or everything else. And I recently done this not too long ago, just about a couple of days ago, when I taped the show. Oh, by the way, that will air on October 22nd. I talked to state senator Marty Golden and also the guy who will be running for city council for the state of Brooklyn in their district, Renato Denaro, who is city council, who brings Brooklyn back. I asked him a couple of things. Is the gun control war really going to end once and for all because based on the shootings in Las Vegas and everything mm-hmm. else, their answers will surprise you. And this is why it's a, this is why I took up a little bit of journalism. I'm not too good in journalism, but when we came up to this point and came up with this suggestion, they came up with it. Well, we would like to thank you very much for joining us on uh, this edition of Able Then On Air. Uh, thank you to Ron Rondon and Road Trip and to the people at uh, Brick Arts Media and uh, Free also Speech. Also known as Broken Free Speech. Broken Free one. Speech 1. Yeah. Um, this has been uh, a very um, informative episode, and we would like to thank um, Orca Media for helping us with it. Uh, for more information on Able Then On Air, you can reach us at special3673 at gmail.com or Able Then On Air at Able Then On Air, uh, Able Then, Able Then On Air at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm Lauren Seiler. I'm Eileen Seiler. And thank you for joining us. See you next time. And God bless to the victims and families of the... Um, of, of the Las of the Las Vegas uh, um, of the aftermath of the Las Vegas uh, uh, situation and fiasco, yeah. uh, we here at Orca Media and Able Then On Air uh, send our love to uh, the families and victims and um, to all of us. There was uh, a victim here that died. In. Um, Her name was and, there, and there was yes, there was a victim here in um, in Vermont who passed away and um, our best to uh, our best to uh, and our love to um, her family um, and we would like to thank you for joining us on Able Then On Air I, like, again I'm Lauren Seiler I'm Eileen Seiler see you next time alright folks that's going to do it for us and I'm going to tell you something 
I hope you learned something based on what we have been talking about and everything that we have been said about violence in America and gun control violence that's been happening for a number of reasons. And we want to hear from you because I want you to be there's If you like our comments, if you like what we have to say, just send us a comment and we'll send it right back to you. All we have to do is we'll read it on the air in our upcoming episodes of Road Trip and we're going to share your information about it. So just to do is to send it to my Facebook page, which is Road Trip for Braun Martin, and we'll do all the rest. And by the way, we'll do that on an upcoming episode of Road Trip as we read your comments based on all these information episodes and also on our Road Trip After Show coming up. And there's one other thing we have to say too, and that's to our favorite young, very funny comedian and activist and everything else. And that, my friend, is Ellen DeGeneres. And I applaud her for what everything that she says. And she said in her quote that follows, let's end 2017, put everything aside from all this violence, gang violence, and even gun control. And we'll make a better, safer place for everybody in 2018. And I definitely applaud her for what you've done on what the, because I inspire her so many times. I've been watching the show every week. You've made the difference for everything. And I want to say, if you want to be a guest on our upcoming episode of Road Trip, you know I'm here for you. We'll be here. We'll have a full episode and talk about your show and, of course, one of my favorite game of games, which, by the way, I saw the show. It's straight not too long ago. It's on this button. Believe me. So, Again, my applause to you, Ellen. Well, that's it for this week. And we're going to come back next week. Hey, for the first time on air, our con climaxing conclusion of our December celebrations from Philadelphia. It is a special, along with my co host is Anna Kiyu, who is a 2015 NFL Sports Bad Fix champion. And we're going to talk a lot about giving things back to the community. That's for our soldiers. We like to thank you for serving our country. They given out video games. Another one was their camp practice before deploying overseas. And we're also going to meet Reverend Carmen Hernandez on very important things that she gave out, and that she gave out, believe it or not, toys to kids in Puerto Rico during hard hit times during Hurricane Maria. That's all next week on Road Trip. I hope you join us then. And that's it for me. I'm Ron Rodden. We'll see you in 167 hours, 31 minutes and 15 seconds. Stay with us for Jennifer Day TV and Dead Sci-Fi Ninja Peter. Thanks for joining us, and until we see you then, next Friday night. Good night. Bye-bye. And bye, Mons. Road Trip is a Ron 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 video production. This is Don Wilson saying good night.